One, two, three, four. A limited. If you want to be Sharon's man, who's your daddy? You've got to have goals. You take your clothes off. I'm a male entertainer. <laughs> I take my clothes off. Exciting. You got to be able to kiss. He was almost like a lizard. He was just like. <laughs> and you've got to have personal hygiene. <laughs> On a date, where would you I'm take me? I take you to CVS get some Q-tips out to clean out that ear. Three get the axe, one gets the date. I might go get some wet naps and clean her up. <laughs> I'm a little scared. It all starts now. A limited. One, two, three, four. A limited. <laughs> Hi, my name is Sharon. You might remember me from the first season of A Limited when I uttered the now famous line First date, they don't come in my apartment. Second date, they don't come in my apartment. Third date, they get to come in my apartment. And even though I did win the guy, he didn't make it back to my apartment. Last time on Eliminate, I was one of four girls. I was a player. This time, I'm a picker, which I'm excited about because now I can bring the guy back to my apartment. Eliminate. <laughs> Right now, we're all gonna meet um, at downtown Crossing in Boston at Felt. It's a cool little lounge, has some pools, a nice little bar. Not only can I handle four guys at the same time, but I can really handle four guys at the same time. In my apartment, in Boston, second face. My dance moves known around Boston. Whenever I'm out, it always comes out. You never know when it's gonna happen, but the ladies are always pleased when it does. I'm Christian, and I've patented my own dance move, and it's definitely coming out tonight. Hey, how are Hi, you? Hi, how you doing? Nice to meet you, Christian. Nice to meet oh, you, Christian. So I'm excited to meet you. <laughs> how are All you? I said is you better be hot, and they <laughs> really delivered. They really delivered. Thank you. First impression when I saw Christian was put together, nice dresser, nice smile, very handsome. When I first walked up and met Sharon, she's definitely hot, um, body banging, face slamming. This girl is just hot, so I'm hoping for good things on this date. I want a little more in a girl, a little more in a relationship. I don't want just the easy wham bam, thank you ma'am. I'm Peter, and I'm a male entertainer. Hello. Oh my God, what a present surprise. Hi, who are I'm you? I'm Peter, good Hi, to see Peter. you. Hi Peter, it's nice to meet you. How you doing? Peter, how are you? Peter, Christian, Christian, Christian Peter. How are you? When I saw Peter, I thought, wow, Nice looking, big guy. When girls meet me usually, you know, they like me because I'm a, I'm an outgoing guy. They like my smile. I got a lot of, a lot of pizzazz, a lot of style. I'm Ace Heart, and I'm definitely big pimping. Hello, how you doing? My name is Sharon. Sharon Ace. Yes. Ace, nice to meet you, honey. How you doing? Ace, what's up, man? Christian. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. How are you? Oh, you look nice and warm. Thank you. Oh, I love the. I got you a little gift, too. A little Halloween oh, that's so sweet. Man. <laughs> Ace, I don't know if he did background dancing for uh, Eminem or uh, if he actually was back in like New Kids on the Block. I don't know where his style is coming from. I don't like to have sex on the first date. I like to get to know a girl. I like to see what she's all about, and you know, maybe a little bit down the road, uh, we'll take it where it needs to be taken. I'm Sam, and my favorite game is Who's Your Daddy? Hi. Hello. How you doing? Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm Good. Sam. Sam. Nice yeah. to meet you. Sam is um, a doll. I figured what we'll do first is uh, I want to take you guys over to Felt. We'll talk, hang awesome. out, have a couple of drinks. So, That's all right? All right. Sounds a great all time. Right, sounds good. Follow Let's me. Let's go. We walked right into Felt. We walked right upstairs. We sat in the lounge and we got ourselves our drinks and we started talking and got to know one another. Peter, what do you do for a living? I'm a male entertainer. Oh, so you're a stripper. If you want to call it that. Is that, do you take your clothes off? I take my clothes off. Okay. Yes. I don't know who's paying to see him, but uh, he's probably getting quarters instead of bills. I don't know. Christian, what do you do I'm for a living? I'm not a stripper. I'm uh, a financial advisor. Really? I work uh, in the financial district, yeah. Very good. Sure do. Um, what do you do for a living, Sam? I, uh, I sell drugs. Oh, great. We'll talk later. No, no I'm just no, kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just no, kidding. No, no. <laughs> no I'm, a, I'm a bodybuilder. Oh, you are? Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, oh. I'm just kidding. No, I, I, I actually I just work in advertising. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Come on. Ace? I do some of the similar marketing promotions. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Very good. Artist management. Very good. Entertainment. So we, what do you do? We've got to find out what yeah. you do. I work here um, in Boston in a major specialty store. Right. I'm an assistant manager. I've been there for three years. I was in the Army for six years. And I'm very organized. I'm very detailed. I like things in order. Um, I hate people that are just slobs. Are you willing to teach? Yeah, I'm willing to teach. There's always room for learning. I'd clean your apartment for you. You would? Would you woman. put on a little French maid? I put on whatever you want. Would you put really? on a G string? Yeah. Yeah. 
I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm not as experienced with the G strings as you are. Okay. But, you know, hey. Are you wearing one right now? I am. Are you wearing one right now? I'm not wearing any underwear at all. Oh, you're oh, going commando. Oh, commando. oh, okay. I don't wear socks either. Oh, oh, all right. Okay. What, even in the winter time? Overrated, yeah. Really? I like the freedom. I got some nice underwear on. You want to yeah. see? No, I don't. I want to. Yeah, let's let's see them. Go ahead, you I'm first. Safe. I'm you actually face. already wearing a condom right now. Oh my god, you're what? like. Oh. All right. See you, bud. That's a little. Uh, well, uh, you stay uh, here uh, with him. <laughs> you can have your time with this. That's right a little bit too much. I wouldn't mention that to a girl on the first date that uh, he's wearing protection. Not a good idea, but. Oh, oh, it looks like my baby so suit when I was seven. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know to take that. It looks a little good. Wait, let's, let's, yeah, check, out, let's check out these look, this body. Look. It's a G-string, cool. Maybe you can pull off the G-string, but it's orange and yellow and pink, dude. She could have worn the G-string, not you. you Mine my, my a little more subtle. There? Now, these are a gift, but... Uh, <laughs> see, hello, hello my name is... Uh, All right. I mean, it's a given, but... There's way too much nudity in this team. <laughs> Ace, hello, my name is d How about, uh, hello, my name is dumbass, buddy? Come on. Uh, what, 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 uh, what do you look for in a guy? Like, do you like a, a good kisser? Um, like a good... If it's not in the kiss the first time, don't even waste your money Let's on a girl. Let's get rid of these other guys in presents. right now it's because not... the date's over. Why are you saying that you're the best kisser? I'm the best kisser. You, you're telling me. I'm a great kisser. That you're a great kisser. Yeah. I'm willing to challenge. Oh, I'm not taking sloppy seconds with this guy. <laughs> Talk show host over here. <laughs> I wanted to show her that kissing is really important to me, so I was sensual and to the point. It was almost like trying to find his tongue, like he was almost like a lizard. He was just like, you know, and I'm like, all right, give it to me for a second, you know? I think I'd like to lay her down on the couch and kiss her. Oi, what, what, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Let's see what he has to bring. Yeah. 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 You can bring it, Ace. You, you can bring it. Are you guys going to let him just go well, right I know once you have me, you won't even worry about it. You oh, won't really? Be oh, Usually I like okay. to, like to start on the neck. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I'm not having sex here. We're just kissing, Ace. Come on, bud. Yeah, uh huh. Lay you down. Uh huh. Hey, now I wish I wore those pants. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay, that was nice. <laughs> wow, man. I was hoping for some face sucking, and these guys were fighting for it. Coming up, who will share and cut first? I'm gonna have to go with Peter getting cut. Uh, the orange G-string. Didn't do it for me, buddy. Christian's going to be cut this round. I think Christian's getting cut because he's just a little too shy, a little too quiet. I think that Sam's going to be eliminated. Uh, he just seems like the biggest dork of the crowd. Eliminate. Who do you think Sharon will eliminate first? Ace, Christian, Peter, or Sam? Okay, guys. We're at the end of round one, and this was really, honestly, a really tough decision. But unfortunately, I'm sorry, Peter, I have to eliminate you. And it's only because I've dated a stripper before, I went down that road, and I can't go down that road again, and I'm hey, sorry. That's cool, I respect your opinion. I'm sorry, No honey. problem. It was so nice meeting you. It was a pleasure. You. Bye bye. Bye, honey. I'm not hurt or angry or anything. It's, it just goes with the territory. Everybody has their own, uh, their own opinion of people. Any girl isn't gonna wanna go out with a guy who's still stripping for a living. Peter, uh, don't give up your day job, if you even have one, because your night job just sucks. Strippers, I don't know what's your deal, pal. See you later. Just like uh, when I leave a lot of shows, I feel like a piece of used meat, and uh, that's pretty much what I feel like tonight. In round two, I'm gonna take the Kai's over to Pravda, see how they look when they're all shined up and dressed up, how sexy they can be. Then I'm gonna take it from there and see who catches my eye. Very handsome. Uh, you look yeah, lovely. You're looking yourself. good. Thank you. Very beautiful. Very, oh, I like your shirt. Yeah. Very looking nice. Good. You guys clean up very well. Yeah, we try, we try. When you're out of the running suit, you look very out handsome. Out of the running suit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ace needs to work on his wardrobe. He uh, needs definite help in the color category. I mean, Ace, it's like, I didn't know if, at first, during the day, I thought he was going to the gym, and it's like, now I thought he was going to a Halloween costume. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more personal. What is your, when it comes to sex, what is your specialty? What do you compliment your own self on during sex? All right, I, I would say maybe the girls remember me as uh, pretty good with the hands, and by the time I'm done with my hands, they're, they're just craving for more. Not being so. so quick. Nah, oh, man, just I, I go in, I go in easy. I'm not ready just to jump on in and dive right in. I, I'll just, I'll just let them wait, wait and want it. So I'd say that's what I leave behind. Okay. Christian got no skills. Basically, he'd be talking about skills that he'd be thinking about. 
he be dreaming about it. He's got no skills at all. What is your sexual specialty? I'm very kinky, Sharon, to be honest with you. <laughs> I like to do I like to do funny, not funny, but kinky crazy things. Uh -huh. The craziest place I ever had sex was on a gondola. Two and a half minute ride, fully dressed in winter clothing, quickly had to undress. You had the thing and then uh, finish it off and it was spectacular. Like so would you say that there's anything that you say yeah. What's, that's your specialty, that's His your specialty thing. is the snowbank. He's I like, I like to talk dirty. Talk dirty? Yeah. I like to, you know, who's your daddy type thing. Okay, yeah. okay. Sam said that he likes the dirty talk, but he's just so full of crap that that's the only dirty talk he's talking. Is there anything that um, I'm sure there is, girls do and guys especially do. When you're having sex with someone, who and why do you fantasize about? You. Uh, definitely you. Yeah, after tonight, that's all, right. all gonna change. <laughs> that's <laughs> You know? Ace turned around and said, oh, he fantasized about me, which I thought was weird because he doesn't even know me to have had fantasized about me. Before you met me, who would it be? Uh, I mean, I don't do too much fantasizing. I think if you're fantasizing with someone else and it's not there, but... Um, I mean, he was fantasizing, what was his name, Peter? No. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> what was this name? How soon we forget? Yeah, little Peter, but no, no, no. I, I, I've, uh, I, you know, sometimes your ex pops in your head, or maybe that girl you never could get. Yeah. Or like that high school teacher that kind of turned you on, about. you yeah, wonder how yeah. she would be. Yep, hell yeah. Okay. I can't wait to hear this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, too. I fantasize actually about my uh, first grade school bus driver. Oh, please I, say it was a no, girl. She, oh, I definitely, picture a big no. beef guy with a beard. Oh, no, please. No, no, no. <laughs> this was a very attractive woman. She was okay. about 35, 40 years old. Smoking. Oh, I think about her. Sam be thinking about his first grade bus driver because that's about the only lady he ever got any ass from. So, are we still wearing this quantum that you've had on since round one? Well, I mean, since we've changed, I've, I've since changed, but I yeah. mean, it sounds like you you're honest. I mean, if you're baiting me, you know, it's just I'm an honest guy, and you know, I just bring it. This yeah. is how it is. Well, what are you bring, bring it. it. Hold on step a second. Bring boy. it. Oh, sure. Step aside. Bring okay. it. Bring it. Bring it. All right. All right. Here comes the condom. I don't think I want to be. Uh, <laughs> no, this. Yeah. Hey, I'm honest and safe. You know. So leave you alone. No, I'm very, I'm very honest and safe. You know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Are you just gonna Watch like? Glow in the dark. Are you just gonna like whip it out right in front of me? Sure, yeah, yeah, folks. <laughs> you don't need to like whip. Oh, oh my God! He really, really has. Hey, I like oh. to be safe. Game right? over. Oh wow, Christian, you're trash. Get a life. Show some class, buddy. First of all, I thought it was funny. Definitely laughed, definitely was funny. But then I'm like, all right, what the hell is a guy doing walking around wearing a condom on already? Sharon's second cut is coming up. And later? I was embarrassed. I was kind of like, oh my god, <laughs> I don't believe he's doing this. But like we said, it is Boston, so anything can happen here. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Sharon going to eliminate next? Ace, Christian, or Sam? All right, guys, we've come to the end of round two, and it's time for me to unfortunately have to eliminate someone. And like I said the first round, I've had a blast with all of you, and there was one of you that I gave two chances, first round and this round, to kind of rock my world, so to speak, and that did not happen. So unfortunately, I'm sorry, but Sam, I have to eliminate you, honey. Works out well for me. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's your loss. I'm sorry. That's all right. Have a good night okay. with uh, Revoir, Mr. Playboy, Condom Man, and Gangster Paradise. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. There was no attraction for me. I was trying to play the game just to win the game. I wasn't into her. The only advice that I could give to Sam is maybe kiss a little bit more sensual. Um, Stick your tongue out there. It's kissing. Throw it. Bleh, throw it out there. Sam looked like he was that kindergartner with his puppy just got run over by a car when he got uh, eliminated. So uh, I feel really bad for him. If I see her again, I'll be cordial. I'll be cool with her. She's a nice girl. It's the accent, man. I can't deal with that accent. It would have driven me crazy. Round three, we stayed at Pravda, where I had to find out who was going to be a better boyfriend to me, Ace or Christian. So if you were to take me on a date, what would you do? Where would I, you take me? I'd take you to CVS to get some Q-tips after you clean out that air. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if I was to take you on a date, I think I'd take you away from him. 
and maybe have a little bit of my own time. That way you'd have a chance. Wait, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute. You guys have to be truly answers because you don't know who I'm gonna pick, so I might hold you to the second date. Sure. So well, what maybe, would you do? Uh, maybe I'll have to I'll have to show you right now, you know what I'm saying? We'll just we'll just let him stay over here while we uh have a little bit of our own time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this is what you would do on a second date? This is what we have against the wall and have yeah. On the second day, at least, I'd be dancing with you, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And you're pulling my pants down, okay. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> okay. Oh. Dude, come on, man. <laughs> I might go get some wet naps and clean her up a little bit after uh, he gets a hold of her. Okay. Nice, man. So. Did you enjoy watching? No, right. not at all, man. I'm ready to shower her down after that. I definitely wanted to break it up, but I gave Ace a little bit of time. You know, give him a little bit of respect, but uh, I knew I'd come in and clean things up, so I wasn't worried at all. All right, so I know what he would do on a second date. He basically told me out there. And I want to know, um, if I pick you, yeah. what would we do on a second date? I mean, uh, this guy, I mean, he's too embarrassed to speak out loud. I mean, he's just all whispering all the time. Second date would just be far away from him. I definitely would shower you down after I've been with him for a little bit, <laughs> clean you up a little bit, take you out, treat you good, and just sit around the house all night. That's about it. Clean up the apartment and clean it up. That's about it. <laughs> so you come over and help me clean up my apartment? Yeah. I'm hoping to go back and clean up Sharon's apartment, and hopefully I'll be cleaning the stains out of that carpet too. All right, now maybe would be a good time to maybe go out on the dance floor and... Yeah, no doubt. Pretty good, but uh, yeah, definitely got me rocking and rolling downstairs. I was definitely happy to dance with her, you know, she can move, she can shake her hips. I felt the cool breeze, tight squeeze. <laughs> I promised a little bit earlier that I'd pull out the patented dance move and uh, I figured that it would be the right time. I think Sharon liked it and I got to show her my stuff. I'm like, oh my god, this kid is totally naked. What is he thinking? I was thinking that's your last move because you got no more game left. That's your, 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 last, your last chance and you lost. Will it be Christian or Ace? Sharon's final cut is next. A limit there. Guys, I had a lot of fun with you today. Mm -hmm. Over at Felt, got a chance to know one another, what yeah. you liked, then come over here to Pravda. Got a little chance to get to know you a little bit more, do a little dancing, and I don't know, I asked you both, what would you do on a second date? And you said you'd come over and help me clean my apartment. And I think you said you would come over maybe get a little freaky with me. And this is, a very tough decision, but I'm sorry. Christian, I have to cut you. I'm looking to get a little bit more freaky in my oh, apartment. Oh, I'm Great sorry, baby. Okay, I'm sorry, okay, I'm nice. sorry. It was definitely hot. Con the man, damn <laughs> man. Do the she man some other time. Oh, I enjoy it, it's cool though. Damn it! <laughs> I am so pissed off, man. Apparently I read her completely wrong. I'm not looking for a guy necessarily to come back home to clean my apartment. I'm about to dirty that. up the apartment. Yeah, I'm looking for someone who's gonna dirty up the apartment that I can clean up after, and this is the man. Apparently she wants someone a little bit uh, freakier, but I think by that she made a little bit dirtier, so uh, hey, whatever.